Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to compare time taken by for each, parallel for each, uh, batch step and batch aggregator to, to insert data into a MySQL database. So we will see which one takes the shortest time. So first about the data that I am using, the data I'm using is from data.gov. So you can go to the website data.gov and search for, uh, I'm using this one, uh, reported traffic crashes in Detroit. So you can just search uh, traffic Michigan or traffic Detroit and you will get this one. And I downloaded the CSV data from here. And I have the data downloaded here, it is this one. So it has different rows, as you can see, uh, different columns, and uh, uh, as of today, more than 148,000 rows. So from this data, I'm going to just create a sample with 1,000 rows, 5,000 rows, 25,000 rows, and insert the data to MySQL database. Each, each of these uh, samples, insert them to database and time uh, which one see which one takes the shortest and the longest time so as you can see this one it has i just from the original data i removed all uh, zeros except the first 1000 so i have 1001 here as you can see the first the first row is uh, a header so i have 1000 rows the second one here uh, 5000 so the total number of rows should be as you can see here on the bottom left, 5,001, and uh, this one, 25,000. Yep, so we have 25,001 rows with the header. So, if you come to any point studio, I have to save time, I have already built the flows. So if you see the first flow here, in, this, in the first flow, we are going to compare time taken by for each and parallel for each. So I am using on new or updated file operation from the file module. So I have file module here and on new or updated file operation. That is my listener in this case. And as you can see here, I'm specifying the configuration file configuration here is nothing but just the working directory and um, i also specified uh, the directory the file format just the data is in csv and uh, i want it to check every 10 seconds so the scheduling strategy is just fixed frequency every 10 seconds and delete the data and move it to a backup location so i want it so this is my data uh, directory there is no data there you should read the data from here from the input folder and insert it to a database and move it to this backup folder so uh, now i will uh, i will put this data samples to this folder and we are going to see how long it takes to insert it to the database so the other thing is, uh, the other thing is I have my SQL already installed in my laptop and uh, so here the first thing that I am doing after uh, uh, after this on new or updated file operation is I'm creating a variable. So if I show graphic view here, it is simply this variable is just now. So it is going to i want to to see how long each each of the scope stake i need the start time and in the time so the difference will be basically the time taken so i have a variable here with the start time and i will have another uh, variable with an end time and the difference will be the time taken so <clears throat> the data is in csv so once the data comes in i am transforming it here to JSON, so the payload is being transformed to JSON, and I have this flow reference. So I just, so I have two, um, uh, two other flows here for each 
flow and parallel for each flow so i want to reference each one of them and see uh, how long each one of them take so after that uh, in here uh, i'm calculating the time taken so the time taken is i'm creating two variables as you can see here the start time is simply the vars dot start time which is from this variable i get it the start time i get it from here and then the in the time i just i'm creating another variable with this now function so cre i'm creating this object so it should print this to the console total time taken in seconds is simply um, end minus start and give me that in seconds so if we come here to the insert operation uh, i'm inserting to my sql as i said and uh, i have created a database and also a, a table so the database is uh, this crashes database so simply uh, okay Oh yeah, I created this traffic database and added crashes table. So this is these are the columns in the table. And now if we check, uh, let me make sure there isn't any row there. Okay, so the count of the number of rows in that table should be zero. Uh, okay, use traffic. Let me switch to the traffic database and check uh, okay let's check if there are rows there okay uh, 50,000 let's stop this and now it should be zero okay okay perfect now there isn't any data in the table so we are going to insert we are going to insert the traffic crashes data to that table and see how long each one of them each of the scopes uh, for each parallel for each uh, batch step and batch aggregator each one of them we are going to see how long each one of them take okay so if we come to any point studio here uh, so what i'm doing here is so this is the uh, SQL query text insert into the crashes table. I'm specifying the columns here and they are values. Simply if I do, um, simply if I put colon of this column name is, then it can access their values from these input parameters that I have specified. Let me show graph maximize this here so what i'm doing here is from the payload i'm specifying what the values of each column are here so for example the object id is uh, payload dot object id and so on and so on and the other thing here is by the way in the on new or updated file i have specified that the data is uh, csv and also i have specified the mime type that it is application csv and the separator is uh, comma which is a default but if it is uh, something else you can specify it here okay so here we have the sql code insert into the crashes table and their values come from these input parameters the values of each of the columns comes from this key value uh, from this object with key value pairs um, so the same thing this one is for for each and uh, this one is for pal for each so uh, pal for each also uh, the same the same the the configuration for insert is just the same and this insert operation it comes from this database so under database we have insert operation and bulk insert so so in this tutorial we are going to see with bulk insert and insert and the other thing is yeah so this is a flow reference now as the end my logger should print just the payload which is in this case my payload is the time taken the difference between the start time 
and uh, the end time so uh, this way i can i can see the time taken for for uh, the for each scope and then if i just change this uh, the uh, this flow reference if i change it to parallel for each then i can get the time taken by parallel for each as well so let's go ahead and clear the console first and put so this small data first i'm going to put the 1000 rows into this folder i think this is running okay this is running so as you can see it is processing it it and it is after it processes it it is going to move the data from here to the backup folder and as it processes it we should see data coming into this database now the number of rows should not be uh, zero let's see yeah it has already inserted uh, 27 rows so so for each in this case it is inserting each row uh, sequentially so that is why it is taking time so it is grabbing each row and inserting it to the database so it takes some time uh, whereas parallel for each it, it is not sequential it is in parallel so uh, as you can see uh, since parallel for it does the insertion in parallel it it will take uh, less time okay so as you can see it has completed now and you can see in the console here it has printed total time taken in seconds for for each is 151 and if you go to the database we should see the number of rows should be 1000 because we inserted 1000 rows yep 1000 so this is how we insert with for each now let's change the flow to parallel for each and do the same thing so change the flow to uh, parallel for each flow so it is the i mean the flow reference so i'm using now uh, i'm referencing to this uh, flow name parallel for each okay and the data now it should have it has been moved to backup and there should not be data in this input folder we are going to first clear here make sure there is no data here so uh, we can remove it and there are no any rows okay zero in the database now again i will copy paste the sample data to the to that folder so now the pile with parallel for each it should take much less time it took 151 seconds to insert the data with 1000 rows to the database with for each and next i changed the flow reference here to the parallel for each here to this flow and i did the comparison and i did the comparison with as, as i said with 1000 rows 5000 rows and 25000 rows and uh, i have here at the bottom here i have two flows one for uh, data insertion with batch step and here data insertion with uh, batch aggregator and bulk insert so uh, the rest is the same as the first one so i'm using on new or updated file we can we just this one we can simply bring it down to here here so i have the same way i'm creating the start time here this is a start time as a variable and transforming the data to json here and in the batch aggregator simply inserting it into the database uh, one row at a time but now it is in parallel and asynchronous insertion and after the um, batch processing is done then here i'm creating the same way i'm creating uh, a transformation a payload that gives the total time taken in seconds as the difference between the start and and the end and the end time and here another one for the batch aggregator simply bring this here 
the own new or updated file operator so the same way create a variable here transform the data and now uh, i'm using bulk insert insertion because the batch aggregator it is going to aggregate so here under batch aggregator i'm aggregating 1000 uh, rows together so it is going to insert 1000 rows at one time so i'm using a bulk insertion so the bulk insertion it doesn't need the input parameters it just need only the sql query uh, text here and uh, just transformation here i'm transforming it to yeah the payload is in java format and one is one is the um, batch processing with the batch aggregator is done uh here i'm calculating the time taken in second is the same way as the difference between the start time and end in the time and i did this uh, the comparison as i said i i did the comparison for uh, rows with 1000 5000 and 25000 uh, uh, rows so to save time i have the results here so if i go here this one is the result the time taken for by each uh, scope so if we see for each as the number of rows increases as expected since it is sequential insertion uh, the time taken increases so uh, from 1000 1000 it took uh, around 150 whereas uh, 5 25000 have the results here if you see this uh, row with 1000 it took 100 around 150 seconds whereas with 5000 it took around 5000 uh, five, uh, 550 seconds and with uh, 25000 it took uh, it took 28 uh, 2850 seconds so this is just kind of linear uh, the time taken is increasing kind of linearly so uh, for each if you have large volume of data for each takes so long and it is not an option with parallel for each when you have small data here i'm showing results only for 1000 rows it is faster than uh, for each so parallel for each is faster than for each when you have relatively smaller data but if you have large volume of data uh, and if, uh, it um, my database connection failed saying that it was too many uh, connection requests and it was rejected which is expected so here i have for batch step and batch aggregator so when the data is relatively small batch step takes shorter time that than batch aggregator but as the number of rows increases uh, batch aggregator uh, takes less time so what do we summarize from here when we have small number of rows parallel for each takes the least amount of time when we have medium number of rows uh, batch step is better but if you have large volume of data uh, then uh, batch aggregator is is the most efficient uh, way to insert the data to a database